To get things started, I added some text to my composition, but you can do the shake effect with any kind of media. Begin by going to the Effects and Presets panel and typing Wiggle in the search box. Now, there are a bunch of different wiggling animations to play around with, but for this tutorial we are going to stick with the basic position wiggle. Click and drag that onto your layer. Open up your layer until you see your wiggle position properties. These two properties are what we are going to focus on. As you can see, when I play back my wiggle, it's not much of a shake. To speed up the shake, click and drag on the first wiggle properties value. Alright, that's more like it. If you want to increase the distance your media shakes, change the second property. I'm going to change mine back to a less sporadic shake. Now, with the effect the way it is now, it kind of just goes on forever. You can change the duration of the shake in a couple of different ways. The first way is to use keyframes. Click on the two timers next to your properties to set a starting point. Drag your time marker further along your timeline and then set both properties to zero to create ending keyframes. Now, when I play this back, it slows down gradually over time, which kind of looks goofy. The better way might be to start and stop it suddenly. To do this, I'm going to start from a fresh slate with no effect or anything to make this easier to understand. Position the time marker where you would like your effect to start. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift D to trim your layer. Position your time marker where you would like your effect to end and press Ctrl Shift D again. Now, simply click and drag your effect onto the section you just trimmed. I'm going to speed up my shake like I did before. Now, when I play it back, it starts and stops shaking all at once. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to do the shake effect in After Effects.